transition. What do we mean by transition? Well, I suppose, I'm used as we talk about it, it's like Cam, you have to be clear what we're talking about. And I think that the least it is, is that process of moving from specialist CAM services into adult mental health services. But it's broader than that as well. People talk about transitional care services that are very much taking into account the, the lifestyle, the life events of young people. And, and you all know about that. Young people are at a special stage in their life, leaving education, leaving home, leaving family, and all of that needs to go well. Their peer, peer group is terribly important to them. And so is their emerging autonomy. And we all know those young people who are very grown up one, young, one day and yet very actually needing some adults around them another day. And my experience as a mother, sorry, I keep cutting it. My experience as a mother is that that doesn't stop at 18. 22-year-olds uh, still needs, needs that anchor of the family every so often if they're lucky enough to have that. I was shocked to hear that because of the strict criteria of getting into adult mental health services, young people are doing quite well but actually will need the oversight of a, a specialist mental health service, have to let themselves get poorly in order to get into the service. And that, that was new to me. I didn't know that one. We know that, that some of them just will drift away from services. If services aren't appropriate when they get there and they don't feel they're in the right place, then they'll take their chances and just drift away. People tell us that there are too many excuses. I'll tell you what I mean, and I hope I'm not being too provocative. Um, we don't have the training, so we can't work with young people. Um, okay, so what are the competencies, com competencies to work with a, an 18, 19 year old that are different to working with a 17 to 18 year old? If anyone can tell me that, um, maybe we can think about that one, but I don't really understand that. So I've come across camp psychiatrists who say they are not trained to work with anybody over 16. I've come across adult psychiatrists who, when we as CAMS workers who say, can we start doing transitions? And I don't know anything about 17 and a half year olds. I can't talk about that. I don't know anything about ADHD. Well, you have to come and learn then, because we had to learn. I remember when we didn't prescribe and didn't diagnose ADHD. So don't have the training. Um, it's an issue there about workforce development, but it seems to be an excuse to hide behind. And I worry when it's young people so it's an argument for not giving a service to this one person at that moment. No one's job to commission this. I mean, I always thought that actually 16 to 17 year olds had the double whammy. They're, they're, they're really covered by the first adult NSF, 16 to 65, I remember it being called that. And the children NSF goes up to 18. So how come they're not, when people aren't falling over commissioning those services? And again, people have just moved away. Not my problem, someone else will sort it. Now, I put value in, value in the voluntary sector, which I do. I very much value the voluntary sector. And I think we won't be able to get young, young people's mental health services right without working very closely in partnership with the, the voluntary sector. But I do fear that for some groups, it's a bit of a cop-out. Um, I fear sometimes that we say that BME staff, well, they'll be done better by the voluntary sector because we somehow don't know what to do. And I fear that young people, we just say they'll be done better. It needs to be a whole multi-agency approach and not just saying, well, those people are doing it, we're not. Criteria, oh, they're not ill enough for our service, so they won't even look at them. The odd one manages to get through, and we know that um, from the work um, done in Birmingham, that if, if they have a very clear mental illness, <coughs> usually on medication, then those young people with a, with a bit of a a push in the leg up can, can get through to adult services. And it worries me that what we're saying, there's a huge cultural divide between CAMS and AMS, so we'll put something in the middle. We can't ever get them to talk. Well, I don't understand that. As part of my training, I did adult psychiatry. All child psychiatrists have worked in adult. It's not so awful. All adult psychiatrists, you're only talking about psychiatry here, now have to work in CAMS. I just can't believe that we can't find a common way of talking. So what's the answer? Well, one answer has been transitional care workers. That was our answer, because it was all the money we had in the end. Um, this is Gordon Brown and uh, Darling, I think it is. And it's obviously a very wobbly plank. And with any luck, people would start flocking to the shops again now. And I think some of these very small transitional care services are a bit like that. 
they can be very wobbly planks that, that can do a lot of good, do good. But I've seen transitional services, cams won't move past 16, adult won't um, go down actually past 18, and three or four people who are trying to run a transitional service, that is not a comprehensive cam service. So I'm worried about that, I'm not knocking the people who are having a go, um, I raved about our transitional care worker, but I, I'm not sure it's a solid answer. We know what young people want from services. They want to, 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 to be listened to and understood. They want to be taken seriously. Well-planned, smooth transition, flexible <coughs> services that were flexible. They want information, they want some choice. They want us to be honest about confidentiality. And they want continuity of care. It takes time to develop a relationship with a worker and it takes time to hand over that relationship to somebody else. Um, we want to see better commissioning. We want to see a joint, the joint strategic needs assessment that, that pulls together, that somebody looks at what does it say for children, what does it say for adults, so therefore what does it say for families really? What does it mean for anybody who works with people who live in a family? And children live in families mostly, and many adults live in families. We know many people with mental health problems have children living at home with them. <coughs> My voice is going. Um, we want the children and young people's plan and whatever is the adult mental health strategy locally to join up. And we want all of those vulnerable groups to be included. We can't just look at psychosis or depression. We want champions at broad level. I don't think we'll get that. But trusts where CAMS and AMS are in the same trust, they still can't do transition. So somebody's got to tell, be very honest to the leaders about what's happening. We want to avoid stop gaps, and I'm not knocking what's there because I think people have valiantly tried to make things better. But we don't want stop gaps that are there for three, three years. And then it was just a few people. One went off sick, one went left, was, was left, and one's on a used maternity leave, and there's no service, and nobody will see the child, because we've seen that as well. We want to see improved services for young people in adult services. There's no doubt about that. But I don't believe that adult mental health services who have to work with somebody 18, 35, 55, you know, why, they work with people in transition. Why can they not start to think about and why can we not help them with that if we work together with them maybe? I'm not saying we don't need some leaders to really lead that. But I'm, I'm happy with young adult services if we get the transition right either end. Uh, I'm not knocking anything, but it's got to work. And we need clear leadership. We need governance. We need protocols that are truly audited, if we're going to have protocols. And I think we need some quality standards. And I, I would like to see peer review and, and quality standards of this age group coming in much more than it's there. And I think we need some decent performance management. The, the current um, vital signs and targets that say whether or not we've got services for this age group. You know, everybody's green, but we haven't. And it reminds me really of a young person talking to a warring parents. For God's sake, we live with you. Just talk to each other. You know, we, want, we, we need you as the adults to, to help make this right. And we shouldn't have to fight for our rights. And I do think it's a right for the young person with, with mental health problems who has started to have that addressed as a young person in CAM, can have it addressed in adult services.